Hey guys, how's it going? So, um, here's a video that I never thought I'd make, and uh, it's, it's really hard for me to do this, but um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. DSP uploaded a, a video yesterday, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, the name of the video is, hang on one sec, I'll, uh, I'll just check the name just to be sure. Important update, addressing the negativity. And, uh, of course, me being one of the, the haters of DSP, I hate everything he does, just uh, for no good reason, might I add. I just hate him. Like, whenever he does something, I'm like, oh, that motherfucker. Um, I watched this video and uh, thinking, oh, I'm going to make more hate videos about DSP because I, I like being on this bandwagon and I like getting views out of hating DSP for no good reason. That's pretty much all I do it for is just... I, I've got no problem with the guy. I didn't even know who he was till like I did the first hate. But I was like, oh, who's this guy? DSP. Why is everyone hating on him? Oh, it's cool to do so. Oh, well, I'll do it then. I'm one of those people. If it's cool, I'll do it. So I just did it. I obviously didn't know. I mean, I'm, you know, a bit of an idiot. I, I should have looked more into it. Anyway, this video that he uploaded, I, I watched it, and uh, yeah, oh, he, he basically tells it from his perspective. And he addresses all the negativity, as the title suggests. Very clever. Um, and I watched it, and I was like, "Oh my god, I've got him so wrong." I we're we're all wrong. We're just on a bandwagon. We're all wrong. DSP. I, he asks in the video for us to help spread positive word, you know, words about him, and and get get moving. I want I want to be one of the first people to get this train started. Let's let's all aboard the positive train and, and and get him out there so we can get him more money and continue for him to to do this for us. Uh, the re the thing that really helped me with this this video that made, made me help me see the error of my ways is DSP used something. Um, this is my wallet here. Uh, like I need to tell you what a wallet was. Uh, sorry, this, DSP used um, this to sort of change my mind um it's the victim card yeah he used this to completely change my mind now if being on youtube as long as i have has taught me anything it's that a lot of people that watch videos don't understand fucking sarcasm so i'm just gonna make it quite clear now that 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 you just heard was sarcasm i'm gonna tell you what i really think of this fucking video because it pissed me off and Usually I like to make these videos and come with like loads of notes and sort of go, oh, look at this, here's a bit of evidence for that, blah, 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 talk to you in a calm manner. But I am genuinely pissed at this because DSP has come out to address the negativity, which, fair enough, it needed to be done. But the way he did it, oh, you fucking dick. I'm sorry, but I cannot, I've got nothing positive to say about this video. And, and fuck you, anyone who's come to my videos over the past... Like, few hours when he's uploaded this. I don't care if you write hate comments. You fucking do what you want. But fuck you if you're going to write comments to stand up for this dick when he treats you like shit and you come onto my video just because you're thinking it's a quote-unquote hate video without watching the video, listening to my points and going, hang on, oh, he's got some good points there. No, you're just defending this guy and you don't know what the fuck I'm, you know, complaining about or... or talking about fuck all of you following him blindly and you know what you deserve him all of you you, you deserve to you know buy his fucking merchandise give him your fucking money because you don't deserve money seriously he in this video he's basically took everyone who's made any sort of video giving any sort of criticism and he said that these videos are like, 99% of them are all bullshit. Think about that. Think about how many of these videos there are. 99% is a pretty big percentage. 99% of them are bullshit. Okay, so, instantly, if I'm going to watch a video like that's um, giving me some negative sort of um, thoughts on DSP and his content, 99% of it, I've got to remember, is all shit. So, that's 99% of the way. What about the other 1%, Phil? Oh, the other 1% have a grain of truth. A grain of truth, so just a little bit of it is true, and then they take that bit of truth and then they expand on it and bullshit. So even the 1% of videos that are negative and criticising him that are true are 
mostly bullshit and exaggerated. So he's he's basically said 100% of people that make videos, which obviously includes me, pointing out stuff that he's done wrong, are bullshit or what you know a grain of truth. So which am I, Phil? Which am I? Look back on my videos. Am I am I one of the bullshitters? Is all the stuff that I've talked about wrong? No, it can't be, can it? Because everything I say has evidence. So I must be one of those ones that takes the little grain of truth and exaggerates it. I'm, I'm, I'm completely lost here, Phil. I mean, I'm sure you're not watching this, but maybe one of your um, fanboys who, who maybe has the attention span to have made it this far in the video can show me which of my videos, if any of them, has a grain of truth that I've exaggerated. Please. Please, because, you know, DSP, like I said, everything he says is factual. So, you know, I must be wrong. Please, please tell me. This, this video that he uploaded, uh, I don't understand what he expected from it. He uploaded this video, he's disabled comments, he disabled ratings. It made me laugh as well because he said he disabled comments because a lot of people would be watching his videos. They'd see there's loads of negative comments and they go, Phil, there's loads of negative comments on your videos. We can't focus on your videos. How, how many people out there can honestly say that they've ever watched any video on YouTube and been distracted by the comments? You look at the comments after. You, you watch the video. I've never watched the video and went, oh, this video is interesting. Oh, oh there's comments here. What do they say? Oh, 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 shit, something's happened on the video. I've missed it. Just forget the fact that I could rewind that shit. So people were complaining that there were negative comments on his videos because they distract from the videos. What kind of dumbasses get distracted by comments? So he's turned the comments off on this video because his fucking defenders, his fanboys, are the sort of people, like Ray William Johnson fanboys, that can't focus. Oh, oh, there's comments down there. Oh, oh, Phil might have said something really important, but we missed it because comments. So he had to remove the comments. Surely this would have been the best video ever for him to have comments on. Because people could give him feedback and he could address the shit. I did find another video um, that I'll link as well. And this video is pretty much the same video, but it's uploaded by someone else. Uh, I forget the username now. I've done this video for kind of like very... Uh, last minute. Um, kind of like Phil did this video actually. Uh, and on this particular video it's the same video but you allow comments. So I'll really put a link to that because I'd urge you if you're going to watch it, watch it on that so you can discuss things with people. So into the actual video. Another thing that he said, and I've got a few notes here because there was so much shit. I'm going to miss, I know I'm going to miss stuff here. But, you know, maybe I'll make another video if I sort of, you know, leave a comment and say, oh you've got to address this and maybe I can address that at a later date. But here's the things that I took away from this. Obviously all I just said there. Now, he talks about um, Chris uh, Furtado. I hope that's right, Chris Furtado. I want to say Chris Furtado. Sorry if that's wrong. But I'm talking about the person who helped build DSP's website and built a PC for him. He talks about him and he wants to get everything out there because there's a lot of lies and shit about this situation. Whatever, fine, talk about it if that's what you want to do. Okay. So he talks about it and his attitude is fucking shocking. It is so shocking. And the fact that he can have this attitude... And have fans. It's unbelievable. Now, I'm not going to bullshit you and I'm not going to take a, a, a little bit of truth from this, what he said, and roll it in. I'm going to tell you 100% what he, he, what I got from this was he said that Chris Potato helped him to build a website. Okay? And he was very grateful. Fair enough. He's very grateful. Good. And then Chris didn't have time to keep on top of stuff that happened on the website. The website would go down. He couldn't get a hold of Chris. You know, he wasn't massively getting at him for that. That's not what pissed me off. Then he said, you know, a bit later on, he was talking about he wanted to do a uh, PC game, so he wanted a PC. And then Chris Furtado came to him and said, hey, I can build you a PC. I've got discounts. He's on an internship. I can't remember all the internets, but he offered to build this PC for DSP. And DSP said, yeah, cool. So he's built in this PC, and it costs more than DSP thought because as they went along, you know, things, uh, oh, actually, we want to put this in. It's going to be a bit more expensive, whatever. He ended up paying a lot more for it. Fine. What pissed me off? And if I, let me know if I'm alone on this, because this was darn like fucking shitty as anything I, I've heard from him. He said that he let Chris build him the PC as a favour. Oh, Chris built me this website, so in return, I've let him build me a PC. I could have bought it from somewhere else, but no, as a favour to him, I let him build me a PC. How honoured is he? Chris, you've got to build... DSP a PC, you lucky motherfucker! Shit, man, what the hell? 
It's like if me, if I bought someone a present, and then they were like, oh, thanks for the present. Um, I, this present means a lot to me. Buy me another one as thanks for me allowing you to give me a present. Thank you. Fuck you. Honestly, you owe Chris a lot of fucking shit, and you claim that to pay him back for building you a website was to allow him to build you a PC. Do you not see how fucking arrogant and fucked up that is? Honestly, right. So I'm going to look down again at my notes real quick because, like I said, there's a lot of shit. Also, yeah, he goes on talking about all the positive stuff that he's done. He talks about how he talked about SOPA and brought it to um, everyone's attention. Well, not he doesn't take full credit for it. You know, I'm not going to, you know, reign of truth. I'm not going to do all that shit. He, he does say that, you know, his video did get a lot of views. And yeah, okay, it brought it to a lot of people's attention. It probably got, you know, it probably did play a part in getting it, you know, destroyed or held back or whatever the fuck it is. I don't know what current state it's in now. Um, fair enough. But the fact that he is talking about, he did that. Let's not forget that he did that SOPA video for him and his money. He did that because it affected him directly. If someone else, like say me, like, well, I'm a bad example because I do have a Let's Play channel, but someone completely different made a video and got it to loads of people's attention, you could say, yeah, this person really did a lot to help. I'm not saying DSP didn't, but let's not forget the reason that he got involved was because it affected him massively. It affected him more than most because he makes money off this shit. And, uh, yeah, so playing that card is a pile of fucking wank as well. And then, uh, to go on, like, hang on, so it's, it's, I can't even focus because he's pissed me off this much, and I shouldn't get this angry about it, but I, I feel that out of all the sort of um, videos that he's, uh, that I've done, that this one more to the point is he's addressing people like me, and he's not, I don't hate DSP for the sake of hating him, I never come on to, like, even now, I never come on and just turn the camera on and go, hey everyone, DSP's a bitch, he's a motherfucker, bye, you know, there's, always a reason for each one of my videos I'm giving my opinion on something that he's done the Twitter ramblings blah 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 and let's not forget that my channel is not all oh, you look down my videos it's not DSP 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 I make other videos I talk about other things it's just so happened that he gives me a lot of stuff to talk about simple like if he turned around tomorrow and apologized and and turned his thing around I would stop making videos I, I'm not. I'm not doing it, and, and I resent the fact that he he says that everyone's doing it to jump on the bandwagon. I'm not going to lie. There's a lot of people that jump on the bandwagon. It's the same with let's plays, isn't it? How many let's plays channels have we got now? Everyone's jumping on the bandwagon. They want to be the next PewDiePie. There are going to be people. I did not make my first DSP uh, King of Hate hates people that hate on him video just because I went around seeing shit that like, oh god, look how many views that one's got, look how many views that one's got. I talk about what I want to talk about. Someone brought the issue to my attention, and I chose to talk about it. I didn't know that it was going to get like 13,000 views. And yeah, I didn't know that if you type DSP into a search engine, my video is one of the top ones that come up. I didn't know that was going to happen. How the fuck would I know? I'd not jump on any bandwagon. And I know you're not addressing... Well, no, you are addressing everyone, because you even said 100% bullshit, whatever. So... You know, fuck you, Phil. Coming out, like, half assed and without your facts straight, as usual. And then he's going on about how it's gutting that he, he goes, I, I have lost viewers. I admit, I've lost viewers. Yes, you have lost viewers because of your attitude. No, Phil, that's not right. Phil knows how he's lost viewers. He knows why. It's because of people like me, when they type DSP into... Uh, they go, oh, this DSP... He never explains this either. He says people come across DSP and go, oh, DSP Gaming, what's this guy about, okay? Right? What, if they're on DSP Gaming, why are they going, oh, DSP Gaming, what's this guy about? They're watching a DSP video. Surely and they can gather what DSP Gaming's about. They're not, like, if I'm going to watch a playthrough of whatever, I don't know, The Last of Us, say, and I type in The Last of Us playthrough, and his playthrough comes up first, I'm not going to go, oh, DSP Gaming, The Last of Us. Oh, I don't know whether I should watch this one. Let me find out more about the guy who's playing it first. Uh, okay, let's type his name in. Oh, there's loads of hate videos. Oh, no, I don't want to watch a play for The Last of Us by this guy everybody hates. Let's instantly avoid all his content forever. No. I would just click on the video, watch DSP Gaming, and either say, oh, this guy's really good. I like the way he's extremely racist 
and laughs at all his jokes and goes <coughs> every time the game bugs and he flips out. You know, I'm going to make an opinion based on that video because I have a brain. I can think for myself. So the fact that you think your views are declining because people are going away and like going, oh, there's a lot of negativity, I won't get involved. No! Fucking like, let's take someone like Eminem, for example, when he came out, like, came out, make it sound like he, no, I'm gay. No, well, I mean, when he, um, you know, got on the scene, started rapping, there's a lot of negativity surrounding Eminem. Everyone listened to his stuff. That No, I wouldn't have gone, oh, this Eminem guy, a lot of people slagging him off. I'm not going to listen to his album. Like, it's fucking unbelievable that you, you can even think that. I, I I don't even know where you get these, I like, things from. I just think you just sit at home. You obviously have a lot of time, like, in between gaming, and are just like, hmm, I wonder why this is. And then you just sit and make up some random shit in your head and just go with it. Really, what you should do is write it down, maybe read it back to yourself before you say it on camera, because then people like me have more ammo on you. And, uh, yeah, so going back to it, so, and he at one point says that it's really bad that people won't give him a chance because of people like me making videos, or Evil AJ making montages, Mr. Brock Hines, and that stops them from watching his videos, apparently, which is a load of shit. And then he says it's a shame that that's the case, because he's got a lot of good content coming out this year. There's a lot of good games coming out this year. Like, what? It's a shame... Like, that, first of all, the fact that you say that you've got good quality, this is just from a personal standpoint. You do not have good quality, my friend. You're one of the worst Let's Players I've ever seen. And you call yourself an average Joe Gamer? You're not. You're below average Joe Gamer. You are horrible at games. But whatever, some people find it funny for whatever reason. I don't. I don't think it's funny that you flip out and shout at game developers and you pretty much... You act like a seven-year-old when you lose at a game. Like, the... There's a video actually that I'll put a link to below. This is a guy who, and this is just completely because it's funny and this sort of shows how DSP is. Like it's him uh, fighting someone on Street Fighter. I forget the name of the uploader because again I did this very last minute. Um, it's something like it's called something like trolling the trash uh, that is DSP or whatever. And it's this guy who basically gets in a Street Fighter match with DSP and it has a three minute match with DSP and basically throws all of DSP's typical uh, the game is buggy complaints in and it's perfect, I'll put that, because it's funny anyway and it's it's true to him so, but yeah, back on back on topic, that was just a little thing that it was a video that made me laugh and uh, I think it's very good it's funny but it's also DSP in a nutshell, so we, shall we say uh, but yeah, going back so, people uh, are missing out because DSP's got good content, apparently, according to him. Matter of opinion, obviously. And people are missing out because of people like me. DSP's the greatest gift to gaming, and I'm depriving people of that. Because people won't watch DSP right away. They'll come to someone like me and go, Oh, Mr. Ludacris or Evil AJ. I'm thinking of watching this DSP guy. But, um, I can't think for myself. Is he a good person? Shall I like his content? I mean, what are these are the sort of people that go watch a film and then come out. How was the film? I don't know. Someone needs to tell me how good the film was. I, I don't know. I don't have an opinion of my own. I'll just go along with what everyone else says. What did you think of the film? I hated it. Oh, I hated it too. Yeah. Bad film. Fucking people think for their sales, Phil. No one's stopping watching you because of hate videos. People might have been watching you and then come across a hate video and then went, Oh my God, I didn't realise DSP was like that. And then unsubscribe to you. Yeah, that might have happened. But then that's not... I'm only pointing out stuff that you've done. It's your fault for doing this shit that you're losing viewers. Now, I feel like this video is dragging on now, but there's, there's obviously a lot to address in this video. So, bottom line, you know, I'm not stopping anyone from watching you and neither is anyone else doing hateful stuff. And the hilarious thing is that he... I mean, obviously, me sitting here doing the kind of videos I do is where I'm talking. I'm giving you... Uh, Factual information on DSP, not a little grain of truth. I'm telling you stuff that's happened and just giving you my thoughts on it and then you decide what the fuck you want. If you want to go watch him, still go watch him, whatever. I'm just telling you what he's done and I think it's wrong. What's hilarious is that he's like, oh, people... He, he thinks the montages that like people like uh, Mr. Brock Hines and Evil AJ do and loads of other people. There was one this week, um, uh, This Is How You Don't Play Dark Souls, which was hilarious. Uh, he thinks that those videos stop people from watching him. Maybe. Maybe they do. I don't, I don't know. But the fact is, 
all the content that Evil AJ, Mr. Brock Hines, and people like that use is your content. They're putting clips of you playing. That's only footage that people are going to see. All they're doing is they're putting, like, here's a, here's a scene of you uh, saying Dark Souls is, um, is it Demon Souls or Dark Souls? I think it was Demon Souls, sorry. Uh, Demon Souls is shit and uh, it's really buggy and it's a really unfair game and moaning. They just took that clip, which if anyone was watching your Demon Souls playthrough anyway, they would get to that point at some point anyway. And they're just putting it in a montage. How's that? That's you driving people away, Phil. If the clips they were using were entertaining to anyone, it might actually bring subscribers to your channel. So, your logic is totally fucked, as usual. Anyway, right, let me just quickly look down here at my notes real quick. Uh, I think that's pretty much everything I want to say. Oh, apart from, like, there's a whole thing of, like, he was talking about someone called him cancer, which obviously is really fucked up. But let's not forget that he did call Evil AJ mentally ill. So the fact that he's getting offended, stuff like that, yeah, that does suck, Phil. Now you know, not to sound like a child, but now you know how it feels to have someone like just randomly make some outrageous sort of insult to you with, you know, for nothing. Evil AJ's mentally ill because he put together an entertaining uh, compilation of your idiocy. If anything, he's took he's he's helped me out by sieving through the boring shit of your Metal Gear Solid playthroughs and putting together funny stuff. Because that's how what I find funny, Phil. Now, I'm not, I'm not mentally ill. I'm not a, I don't hate everything. I hate the term hater. All I hate about you, Phil, is the way you treat your fans and the way that you constantly, every time you get on camera, you fucking put your foot in your mouth and, and say all sorts of random shit. Please, Phil, this is me now. As, not, I don't even know if you watch this. I have no idea. But, hey, you type DSP into the search engine. My name's going to come up, Phil. And uh, this is my message to you. Simple. Take responsibility for what you're saying. Treat your fans better. And for God's sake, most importantly, before you address any sort of topic like this, write it down and talk, to it, uh, talk about it with a grown-up first. It might help. Don't just say shit randomly. You, you don't have the kind of brain to be able to do that, obviously. Anyway, uh, as always, thank you very much for um, listening to me. And uh, again, oh, another thing is like Phil talking about this was one more thing that really pissed me off is that Phil said the videos like these are not entertaining to people and the montages are not entertaining to people. Like, he doesn't understand why people find these. Oh, sorry, I don't think he says that. Um, they're not entertaining, so you don't understand why people uh, find them entertaining. Everyone's different, Phil. You need to learn this. Same w reason why you don't like Minecraft and other people do. It goes back to that. You need to accept that, I mean, I find comedy in these montages. So do a lot of people, hence loads of views. People find videos like this that I do informative. That's why it gets views. So, yeah. Or everything that's come back on you, all these negative videos and stuff... It's all down to you. You're giving people ammo. Not just me, other people. So, you know, either go along with it. In terms of these sorts of videos, you know, the I can't sit here and talk about you unless you give me something to talk about. So if you want to stop people doing my kinds of videos, stop fucking up and saying stupid shit. Montages, either you've got two choices of how you can sort of like deal with that situation. Either stop being shit at games and stop acting like a five-year-old when, you know, you're just shit at the game. And the second choice is just have a laugh with them. Have you watched any of these montages? They're pretty funny. Have a laugh at yourself. If you came out when uh, the first montage, I think it was This Is How You Don't Play Metal Gear Solid 2. Imagine if you came out and said, oh, this guy's put, um, This Is How You Don't Play Metal Gear Solid 2. He's put all my errors in the game. Oh, it's really funny. It shows how bad I am. I think you'd have a totally different situation on your hands. People are like, this guy can poke fun at himself. He knows he was shit at Metal Gear Solid 2. You know, whatever. You're not hurting anyone. He's not hurting you physically or anything. It's just same way as if, like, if I made a, a DSP montage of all my DSP's funniest gaming moments. You wouldn't have a problem with that. Learn to take a joke. 
there's nothing malicious. Anything in those montages is stuff that you've said and done already. Anyway, again, I keep. I think this is like the third time I tried to end this video. So um, yeah, thanks very much for uh, listening to me. Hope you found this video informative. Remember the links below uh, to these other videos, especially the you know if you just want to watch a, a positive video that's funny um, about DSP, then watch the trolling the trash that is DSP video. It's absolutely hilarious. Uh, yeah, thanks as always, guys, and um, I shall see you in the next video. Have a terrific day, everyone.